Nothing that I'm confused with the reviews on God. Another review, not necessarily a review, it's more of a how to make. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to make a prison drink called a Bombay. Now, oh yeah. I don't know if they have this drink in the prison system in every state, but I know in Georgia. They do have it, and it's called a Bombay. They might call it different names. I'm not sure. But, I have my ingredients here, which I tried to keep it as close to the exact thing that, that at least the Georgia prison system has. And, uh, for some reason, I could not find a large, clear plastic cup. I went to Walmart, to Harvey's, to Publix, to Target, to Dollar General, to Fred's, everywhere. I found it on Amazon, and you had to order like a case. I didn't want to order a case of things to make this one video, but it was the exact cup. It's a little bit wider, bigger than this cup, and it's clear. So... Sorry, I couldn't get the actual cup, but it's still a cup. And the only other difference is, in the Georgia Chain Gang, you have a hard plastic spork. I don't have a hard plastic spork. I actually went around looking for one. It's crazy that it's hard to find. So, I'm going to use this spoon, because all you do is you stir with it anyway. So, other than just... The spoon not being a little spork and this not being clear and bigger. Everything else pretty much the same. Now, we have the crystalline strawberry soda. This is exactly what they have in the Georgia prison system. Exactly. Same size, same flavor. Crystalline has a whole lot of flavors. But the strawberry one, they actually have a cheap cola. You could make it with that. You could make it with any drink, really. It's just, this is the one they had. Folgers Instant Coffee. It's exactly what they have in there. They do have the generic coffee. They have the Folgers. They just have the big canister for like seven bucks. So why would I buy the seven dollar canister for this one video? I bought these. And also they have the generic Kool-Aid that comes in a bag. So, I bought the good name brand Kool-Aid. Various flavors, because they have various flavors in there. Orange, Fruit Punch, Lemonade. Let's begin on how to make uh, a Bombay. First and foremost, coffee. Very important. Usually you scoop it out, you kind of dump it in there. Different people, how strong you want to make it. How much coffee you use. So, you measure by spoonfuls, or you just pour it in there, and you're like, that looks right. So I guess for the video's sake, I'm going to use this teaspoon to measure out. Alright, let's see how much is in one of these little packets. Alright, so it's about one teaspoon a packet. Now that I know that, uh, most of the time when you make Bombay's, you're really making for two people. Keep that in mind. I'm gonna make this like it, usually make it. This made for two. See, usually uh, when you make the Bombay, all you have is that one spork, and it's about equal to a tablespoon. Use that to scoop it out in and to stir with. Let's just throw one extra in there. So this is going to be e uh, the instant coffee. It's going to be six 
teaspoons in there. All right. Sorry it's not clear. It would have made it easier so you could see. But six teaspoons of instant coffee. Go get the grounds. It's not going to work right. All right. Now you pick whatever Kool-Aid flavor that you like. Does it really matter? Uh, fruit punch seems to be the most popular one in the prison system. But I figured, why not get a little fancy out here? I'm going to try some of this Kool-Aid Sharkleberry Thin. Why not? Alright, now, let's see how much... Now this Kool-Aid actually is gluten-free. Who really cares? Says it makes two quarts. Let's see how much, as far as measuring out on the teaspoon. Because the key of Bombay is you want it hardcore. Alright, so one of these little packets is equal to a teaspoon. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you this. You need a lot more than a teaspoon. I know it says it makes two quarts. This is a Bombay. Alright, another chocolate fin in there. That's two of those packets. Let's get real fruity with it. I'm gonna do some of this shark berry, I mean, uh, strawberry kiwi. Let's mix up the fruity taste. You don't have to, you can stick to one flavor. Does it matter? You can put grape if you want. And I'll even go with a peach mango one. How about that? Alright, so that's four packs. It's not enough. Sharkberry Finn. Another strawberry kiwi. Another Sharkberry Finn. That should be it right there. That should be enough. Because I'm the only one drinking this. But I keep it hardcore. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs of Kool-Aid. Don't put any water in the coffee. You don't want to do that. You want it dry. We want the Kool-Aid and the coffee in the container. Don't matter if you shake it up. I don't even know why I'm doing it. Alrighty. So now, here's the key part. You're going to pour the soda this is just room temperature. It doesn't matter because you're going to add ice later. You can do it cold. It's pointless. Room temperature soda. Now, I like this sound. Oh, yeah. Generic sodas are always flat to me. All right. Now, the key part of all this is the amount of soda that you put in to this drink. Don't just start pouring away. You want to just wet it. That's all you need. Just a little dab. Just a little dab. Alright, so it's going to look like that. Where you just, just got enough to wet it. Alright, I'm using the wrong spoon right now. I'm just starting it off just to show you. You're going to have to stir a lot harder than this. I'm just stirring it around to show you that it's going to look like that. Really thick. That's what you want. And then you whip it. Whip it good. Now, in there, there's no blenders. Now to here, you can cheat and use a blender, whatever, make life easier, I understand. But we're going to do this old school chain game style right here. Alright, the longer that you whip it, the thicker that it's going to be. So, don't think you're going to whip it for like a minute and you're like, oh, it's finished. No, you're going to be here a while. Maybe if you hit the blender. Press the button one little quick time, knock it on out, and see how it's starting to have this thick, gooey 
Goodness, I'm telling you, this is good. Cause I'm about to do some serious whipping here. I don't want to tear up the actual silverware at the house. I might get in trouble. I will get in trouble if I do that. So let's not do that. Even though I keep it hardcore, I'll get in some hardcore trouble. Alright. So now, that way you can get a good grip on this baby right here. Cause you're gonna, gonna get in there and you gotta turn. And you gotta blend. And you gotta stir. Oh yeah. You gotta whip it good, baby. Switch hands. Your hands gonna get tired. You're gonna get these muscles just flexing. <laughs> yeah. So you added a bunch of ice now. Really, this cup's a little too small. A really fat round cup, so you got plenty of space to stir and add some ice. Alright, when you've added the right amount of ice in it, because you want a pretty good amount of ice, then you go ahead and top it on off with the soda. And as you can see, I didn't even use half the soda for one person. Soda's really not the main ingredient. It's just one to wet it down and it kind of, really kind of dilutes it a little bit. So, the more people, the more soda the stuff you add in there. Now, I guess out here on the free world you could add some alcohol to this. I don't know. But it doesn't contain any alcohol. Alright, ready to try the Bombay. Woo! That right there will wake you up. Wake you up from the dead. Oh. Wow. This Kool-Aid is a lot sweeter than old chain game. I would say... I mean, I put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe five. Five things of Kool-Aid will be, actually, be, will be enough. Uh, I got some really wild flavors, so it's got a wild twang to it. However many spoonfuls of coffee, put one more, one or two more of the Kool-Aid. So if you put four teaspoons of coffee, put about five or six Kool-Aids. You always want just a little bit more Kool-Aid than the coffee. Unless you just want a really strong coffee taste. <clears throat> oh yeah. So, I don't know if you care, but I figured I'd show you how to make a prison drink called Bombay. That's it for today. Just remember, whatever you... Like, keep it hardcore.